think? Hold that thought complete. I never had anyone complain about that before. Stop that. Hey, I engage with you, friend, and you're exchanging with me. I cover this in my second tape. One is a positive action as practiced by successful people like salesmen or prostitutes, and the other is a negative action as practiced by failures like winos and judges. What? Stop interrupting me. You gotta open your ears and close your mouth. It's very important. I tell my old lady that all the time. I say, hey, I don't want to hear no complaining. I come home with piles of cash every night, and all you do is bitch. The learning starts in here and ends when we open this. Doing is a whole other story, but we'll come to that. Now, all you have to do is call me right away at 866-434-SELF, and for just one monthly payment, I will change your life forever. I promise you. I'll supply you with all the materials you'll need to completely change the way you see the world. Guaranteed. So stop. Stop right now. This is a debate program, not an infomercial. Hey, that's a great idea. Listen, friend, I mean this in a friendly way. Debating is a yes or no proposition. You need to open your mind to the maybes. We're discussing like friends, not debating like enemies. You see the difference? Yes, I do. I think it's so much fun to be on the radio. I'd listen more, but someone stole my radio when they killed my foster family. I hate everyone, apart from the undead. They're the only ones you can really get along with. Well, that's a start. But even you, Mr. Longhair and Pale Skin, I can change your outlook. Guaranteed. That's so great! I'm like puppies! I saw some dead puppies once. Constantinos, I've noticed you have a lot of negative thinking. Why the golf lifestyle? Well, some say life is a tea party for zombies. Also, when you only wear black, everything matches. In fact, I'll keep wearing black until something darker comes along. It's a known fact that the best poetry is written when you are into the Hey, listen, I wrote a haiku. Oh, the red daisy. Flowers retain all happiness. Sunshine. Yay! Sunshine! <laughs> you sound like you'd enjoy my program, Motivate. Demonstrate that motivate again. Nobody ever complained about that program. You hug people and you laugh like you never laughed before. Let's get back to the topic at hand, eh? I've had enough of this weirdness. Jenny, let's start with you. How do you maintain such a positive outlook on you? It says in your bio that some awful things have happened to you. I don't think anything awful has happened to me. But it says here your, 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 your parents were brutally murdered. Mommy? Where's Mommy? She's just fine. She's probably taking a nap. <laughs> You're like my bad doll, Mr. Livingston. He's a bad doll! Bad doll! Not like my other dolls! My mom's great, though. Thanks for asking. Okay, wow. You're psychotic. And ghost up to the eyeballs on tranquilizers. If it's psychotic to be happy, then I guess I am! <laughs> a stalagmite grows an inch every thousand years. That's slow and painful. That's how I want to live my life. If you can't see the misery, stay out of the kitchen. You are hardly worth robbing. Unnecessary! No, because only that which is burned or scratched into your flesh comes with you to the afterlife. Uh, I bet my ex-wife will be there waiting for me in the afterlife. The bitch is crazy. Hey, can you put a hex on my ex-wife? Like some kind of spooky voodoo or something? Get him moving. You'll run out and buy some colored clothing and listen to some music other than people groaning on and on for a condo, a hot tub, a lot of girls. Listen, you're really bringing me down, which is hard to do. It's all about astral projection. Like right now, I'm projecting myself into the women's bathroom at the fair. Hey, that's a good trick. Maybe you and I should go into business together. No, oh, look, I've had enough of this love fest. You, you're a motivational con man. And you, you are a maniacally depressed loony with anemia. You guys should hate each other. Did you say love fest? Those guys are so super. Listen, I just wrote another poem. If I had a flower for every time I think of you, I'd walk forever in a garden. And I just wrote a poem too. Shut up, you weird, pathetic people. This is my show, Maurice Chavez. Capish? Comprende? We're not here to recite poetry or sell motivation tapes or talk to dead people. We're here to press the issue. Anyway, let's take a break. We'll be right back after this important information from Vice City Public Radio. 
That's pressing issues here on VCPR, Vice City Public Radio. If you haven't given money to VCPR and you're listening to the station, you are a thief. That's right, Michelle. You might as well throw a brick through the window and loot the place. How selfish you people are. This is public radio, serving the public with everything that is important, like me. So come on, keep us on air. It's really important. Send us your money. I'm going to say this over and over until you do. Yes, Michelle is known for her begathon tantrums. She cares about this station, unlike you. Think of how much money you spend on drive through fast food and commemorative plates. Take that money right... to be a performance clown. Now I'm running a debate show. Funny how things turn out, eh? <laughs> or is it? That's the question, you see. If we look upon life as a positive experience, do we make it any better? That's what we're discussing right now here on Pressing Issues. Free radio with free ideas. Just keep those donations pouring in. Don't sell out to corporations. We all need a voice. Really, we don't. And today, right now, we're giving a voice to three very different people discussing positive things. A healthy mental attitude. We've got a dog depressing. We've got a very happy orphan. And we've got a motivational speaker with a number of systems. So let's start with you, Constantinos, you strange, creepy creature of darkness. Have you got a positive mental attitude? I like to think so. Oh, really? Misery and suffering, it's everywhere, man. And I actively want a fatal disease. What bad can possibly happen to me? You could win the lottery. The lottery? That's for people with hope. I don't enter the lottery. You could? Damn, you, you two, help me here. I think he's great. I think he's really sweet. I love your hair. It reminds me of a big shaggy dog with long, greasy, straight hair. You know, Chavez, this weird garden guy, he's got a point. I mean, in many ways, what he's talking about is covered in my three-step program, Tape 17. Motivate, demonstrate, then motivate again, part nine. Facing home truth. You see, we all have to face up to two home truths. I'll never be prom queen. Jenny will never have her parents. You'll never make it in the entertainment business. It's about realistic goals. I can change your life. And then just a second, robot. What isn't covered in your three-step program? What don't you talk about in your library of Congress-sized tape cassette library? Whatever we talk about, grief, gods, depression, changing lives. Who are you? What have you done that's so great? You wear a cheap suit. Your hair is stuck rigid with spray. Your breath thinks of whiskey. Uh, you, you look like you sell drugs to people. You're a joke, buddy. A bad joke. Oh, now this is getting personal. Come on, you cheap ass show. I spare my valuable time. attacked by a guy who works on a volunteer radio. This is not volunteer radio. I earn a salary. How much? How much do you earn, Chavez? Big man. Tough guy with a mic. I used to work in a bookstore. I'm a go-getter. You're a cheapskate. You're a fraud with nothing to tell people and no way of helping people. Excellent. I'm really loving this. I hope one of them gets killed. Shut up, dog. All the bunnies are stabbing each other. Shut up. I have a condo. I have a hot tub. I vacation in Aruba. Vacation is not a verb, moron. Yes, it is, because I'm a VIP. I'm very important. And I'm a teacher, a wise man, not an opinionated adult, a naysayer sitting on the side of life criticizing others while all he can do is get a crappy dig down at a moron. On station. A man who lives with his mother. I'm between apartments. And I'm between mansions, Buster, from helping people. You know how good it feels to be me? Do you have any idea, any idea at all, how great it feels to wake up and realize you're a rich and talented, important person and in a waterbed with mirrors on the ceiling and more girls than you can imagine? And every time I step outside the door, I can choose which car to drive. If I choose to drive, I have five chauffeurs. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Wave it under the carpet. That's my motto. <laughs> if I can't see it, it's not there. <laughs> Look, I hate to burst your bubble here, but I know you live in a very small apartment overlooking the gas works. You ain't a big shot. You ain't even a medium shot. You're an asshole. A creepy jailbird who doesn't know the I, I have a message. I can save lives. I'm a savior, my friend. I have a gift of communication, and this is how I get treated. I get insulted, I get paired with a pair of retards, a guy who's afraid of the sun, and a girl dosed up to the eyeballs on antidepressants. Sweetheart, I can get you something much better. These pills are very 
strong today. Maybe I took too much accidentally. Oh, well. <laughs> this chick is out of her mind. I thought I was going to get to help people on the radio, to demonstrate my program, to help you, Chavez. Those people on the phone said you were a desperate, lonely man on the edge. Leave. Leave right now. Get out of my school. Go get your own radio. Go save some other people. Hey, I'm not leaving till I have the opportunity to save people and sell some tapes. You can call right now and send in the money order. Soon you can have a luxury condo and a waterbed and a suit made in Singapore based on the latest Italian style. Enough! Enough now! Shut up! Hey, Vampire Boy, I'll give you 20 bucks if you can put a hex on Chavez. Dark forces, I summon you to me. Banish these weaklings and mental inferior ones from my presence. Shut up! No, you little snotty-nosed prick. What? Your shoes got lifts, bust. I can tell. Hey, lift this hairspray! Oh, my no! Daddy, stop cleaning! This costs a lot of money. I'll sue you into jail, asshole. Stop fighting, please! I hate it when we fight. Can't we have a group hug? Hit me, man. I like it. Oh, my damn no. Oh, stop crying, uh -huh. baby boy. Uh -huh. Who are you gonna tell, huh? Where's your three-step program now? You think I'm a little wimp now? You wanna be rude about pressing issues now, eh? You think you're a tough guy from the gutter now, eh, my friend? You think you can screw with me, with Maurice Chavez? What you thinking, asshole? Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't hit me again. I, I love your show. Eh. <sighs> I think I understand this positive thing. And that was pressing issues. I think we covered a lot of ground. We learned all about how to press the issue. And remember, if at first you don't get hurt, Hit the guy very hard in the face with a paper. It just worked for me, and I feel like a million dollars. Let's tell you a little bit more about exactly how public radio is financing quality programs like Pressing Issues from on the air. Don't go away. That was Pressing Issues, and this... Got anything further to add? Pressing issues this time. You have to give us some money. It is a... It is, it's a disaster. That's what it is. What's wrong with you people? Please. We're struggling to pay for our... We need your money. Urgently. Thanks, guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pressing Issues on BCPR. That's Vice City Public Radio. Radio which gives the public exactly what they want. High-quality educational programming about serious topics and the consistent reminder that the world is going to hell in a handbasket if you don't give us money. Remember, Vice City Public Radio is commercial-free because it is funded entirely by donations from our listeners and corporate sponsors. So if you're enjoying the show, why not make a contribution? I'm Maurice Chavez, and this is Pressing Issues. Pressing Issues is a roundtable discussion group This is a show founded on the ancient Greek principle of enlightened debate and the American principle of free speech. Or is that the ancient Greek principle of beating wise men hemlock? And the American principle of being annoyed and loud so nobody can get a word in? I forget. Only time will tell. Now the subject we are discussing right now and pressing issues with me, Maurice Chavez, for your enlightenment and enjoyment is a very serious one. All like safety. In case you haven't noticed, my city is not a very safe place. These are troubled times. We are a troubled people. Some would say we are a people at war with ourselves. Others would say we are at war with reality. Those who live in other countries and strike to own our fast food restaurants and quickie marts would say we are a bloodthirsty bunch of crazies who let children buy guns from the supermarkets. Another the doors and forget about everything as quickly as possible. So, let's press the issue, eh?
Sitting on our panel right now, we have three divergent opinions, three separate islands of insanity in a rolling sea of stupidity, three wise men following very different stars. Am I right? To everyone's right, in fact, we have Congressman...
los culos, you know what I mean, man? Listen to rock and roll or whatever you call it. Meanwhile, Grayshaw, I know your father. He's made a lot of money, which makes him a great person. But for every good conservative, they end up having some wacko comic kid just back from a vacation in the Orient who wants to share. Go take that share in business to Cuba, or Canada, or somewhere. I don't have a trust fund or a rich daddy. I know what it is to be poor, to look at the world from the other side. 